What's up, YouTube? So I painted something pretty cool. Um, I was thinking about doing like a tutorial on it when I was doing it, but decided that I really needed to do this for myself and not worry about turning on a camera or, you know, setting up a camera and all that. I needed every one of my four brain cells needed to be working on this project because <laughs> it's been something I've been wanting to try. Um, just haven't really had the time um, or the confidence really to do something that I think would look cool. And then I just thought about it like, screw it, you know, who cares? People care too much about what other people think and it stops them from trying new things, especially in the automotive world. So, sorry I didn't film any of it, but, um, and my lighting is really bad in here. You'll see some like lines tracking it just because of the paint booth lights. But now that I've done the first one, hopefully I can do some more and actually get it on camera and um, kind of show you guys some of the routes that I took to get some of the effects. Um, and it is by no means perfect and it by no means makes any sense, but um, it's it's what I thought of, it's what I did, um, it's what happened. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to tell somebody like film it, like this is how I did this. and. I didn't even know if it was gonna work, but it worked. Oh, yeah! Pretty excited with the way it turned out, especially for my first time. Um, I had my buddy uh, who also does the body work here at the shop. He did all of these uh, fish scale patterns. He airbrushed them in by hand. Dude sat there for 10 hours solid. He took a half hour lunch and that was it. And just did those scales. I didn't even see him take a drink, really. Uh, so I really appreciate the help on that. Um, but yeah, I, I think it really turned out cool. Did kind of a, you call it what you want over here, okay? You can call it, you can call it mermaid scales if you want to, because it kind of looks like mermaid scales. Looks like we trapped a mermaid under it. Um, it also looks kind of like a titanium, like a burnt titanium effect with the different colors of candy. Did some ribbons in the middle. That was kind of a challenge for me. I'm not a very artsy guy, you know, so understanding like technical art stuff, I, I just, I don't have that yet. So I did the best I could. Um, I tried to add some shades, you know, where I thought it would make sense. Some of the shading doesn't make sense. It's just more of like a halo around the effect, but I did that to kind of give it more depth, like on this one here. Um, I guess technically, uh, some artsy pe people told me that I shouldn't put shadows on both sides, um, but I did, and I think it looks pretty cool. So, there she is. You can see kind of a little basket weave effect there in the center. And I just got done clearing this. I'm probably going to end up sanding this all down and then putting another co couple coats of clear on top of this um, because you'll see a little bit of, you know, you can see a little bit of transition from the lines um, and it's got some dirt in it and stuff. So I, I think flattening this off and adding some more clear will really help out. But I just want to show you guys what I was able to pull off. Um, I got about, with clearing it and everything, there's about 50 hours into this so far. Um, a lot of people were asking me if I'd be interested in doing this on someone's car because um, we do do paint and body work here. Never done anything like this. If we did do it, um, the energies would have to match between me and the other person. Um, it, it's just, it's too technical of a thing to do just for anybody. So um, what you're looking for and what I'm wanting to do would have to match up is what I'm trying to say. Um, so if we did that for somebody, we would just charge time and material. So however long we have into it, like I said, we got 50 hours into this. But like I said, it would, I don't think I would do it for somebody that has a dead set idea of what they would want to do because I, I'm just able to do what I'm able to do. So pretty pumped with the way it turned out. I'll get it out in the sun for you guys sometime. Is the booth lights don't really pick up the flake too much, but added in some little like scale textures on the outside in that darker gold area. A lot of cool effects. So, pretty happy. 
Yeah, maybe next time I can show you guys some of the steps that I took to get to that look, that finished product, um, some of the um, skills or tips that I took from watching different videos and things like that all kind of got combined into that first time try. Um, pretty happy, like I said, pretty happy with the way it turned out. So um, next time I'll actually turn on the camera. Later.